Oh yeah, look at him. He's throwing water. He's throwing water. We got, got, I think we got two in there. Yeah. Just one. But he's a good one. He's flashing water. Getting brandy wet. I like to see that. <laughs> I like to see the man get wet. So he's catching these two. Yeah. One better than none, ain't it? Oh, hey, this is the storm. Look at that. Daniel, you got that, uh, um, throw back. Look at here, big boy. We got one about 15 pounds. That's about what it is. Let me back in the water. You got the pegs? I mean, coming right down through. Perfect. So, see if this current coming down through here has got to be hitting that bank over where I'm talking about. We'll try just pulling it in right here. Yeah, Channel cats come about seven days before the mm -hmm. spotted cat day. That's a good one, that's just the male. Throw him back? No. You want that? Put that one back in there. He might have to play his next time. Next time you need a drag on the other side of that tree. puppies that's their favorite hush puppies and they always want the recipe so we're gonna do it in a video put the recipe online I'm gonna show you what we got I got half of an onion chopped up this is a red onion I like it because it's sweeter you can use either one um, we got about three quarters cup of sugar I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there we got one egg Next, we got our main ingredient, cream style corn. So we got half an onion, three quarters cup of sugar, one egg, and a can of cream style corn. It's gotta be the cream style. Next, we're gonna put jalapenos in it. You don't have to put jalapenos if you don't want them, but if you do, about two tablespoons of diced jalapenos. work right there. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. 
We're gonna start out with about a cup of cornmeal mix. This is cornmeal, yellow cornmeal mix, self-rising, and about half a cup of flour, half to three quarters cup of flour, about half. Now, for some reason, this ain't always gonna come out perfect, so it's not an exact recipe. But what we're gonna do is stir this in, kind of look at the consistency of it, and then we'll go from there. We may have to add just a little bit more. You definitely don't want to add too much um, to start off with because you get it too cakey and they won't scoop out right. So what you can do if you get it too thick, you can add one more egg. The only thing we're going to season this with is Tony's and garlic once we get it mixed up good. So now, we've added one cup, we're gonna add about one, another half a cup of cornmeal mix right there, and about another fourth a cup of flour. So now we're at about three quarters cup of flour and about a cup and a half of cornmeal mix. Another thing is you don't want to mix these up too early before your grease gets right. Um, and you also want to start cooking these about 300 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more. So we're going to end up with about one cup of flour and about one and a three quarters cup of cornmeal mix. And that's going to probably be about pretty close. What'll happen if you mix these too early, um, they, that self-rising, it'll, it'll kind of puff up a little bit and you'll have, it'll be porous. You'll have a bunch of, uh, your hush puppies won't cake up real nice. They'll, they'll poof out too much. So you want to make sure also that you stir these right before you go to scooping them and putting them in the grease. What I like to use is right there, the small ice cream scooper. So we're gonna go ahead and put our Tonys. This is seasoned to taste on the Tonys and garlic. But I always like to put some garlic and Tonys in there. And we'll stir that in. You ain't gotta have too much. The, the flavor's in the, everything else that's been added in there. If you ain't never tried these, you're in for a real treat. I would highly recommend try these next time you fry fish. Okay, you want to put your baskets, if you got a basket cooker down in there, you don't have to use a basket cooker. I'm just going to scoop out about a level scoop full. Go right in there with it. You can see I don't have my grease all that hot right this minute. I don't want it. 350 or 375 degrees. I want about 300 to 325 on that grease. I want these to kind of slow cook just a little bit before they'll get done on the inside. See, you can see just about level ice cream scoops full. Works perfect. You can kind of see the consistency I got going on there too. They're working perfect. fish down in the river bottom at the camps. We were camping on the river and frying fish. This was, this was one of our favorite treats when we were cooking fish was the homemade hush puppies. Always had to have them. Now you can see right here they're starting to turn a little bit. When they go to getting right, you can just tap them like that and they'll flip right over. And they should stay open. We're about 325 on our oil right there. Them 
things cooking about as perfect as they can cook right now. You always want to cook your hush puppies as your grease is coming up to temp. That way you know you're at 325, you can cook your hush puppies, then your grease is heating up, time your hush puppies is done, then you can throw your fish in there about 350 or whatever, you know, a little bit hotter, your fries and all. All right, you don't want to overcook them. Them's about as good as they can get right there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them up, put our next batch in. I'm gonna tell you, see how that's kind of foaming up a little bit. Every time that you put some new hush puppies in there, you want to stir that back up every time before you put the new ones in there because it'll it'll go to swelling up on you pretty quick if you don't. Flip them over. have a big fish fry invite people over or something like that you gotta have these hush puppies them store-bought ones it just ain't the same I'm ready right there let them sit there and drain just a minute we go ahead and start putting some fish in there get some of them catfish going in there right there them them dudes are floating like it they ready to jump out of there they gone puppies done got our fish some okra some fries I'm gonna try one of these hush puppies real quick they just right that is the best hush puppies that you eat guaranteed that's gonna be it for this one God's country hunting fishing keeping it real